So let's move on to uh, Divi. How about that? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, so the next the next topic is about um, communication, the refresh in communication. So we started to talk about that, I think, about almost three months ago now. And mm -hmm. um, we had some pretty strong opinion about why we wanted to do that. And yeah, we were going to go through why we wanted to do that and where we are, what happened, what is the result and, and what's coming next. So. So basically what we wanted is um, we thought and um, I think me first that the communication was not uh, appropriate to what we wanted to actually communicate to the outside. And one of the, the first thing is that DV is, is lightweight. Um, DV has actually a lot of different uh, unique features like the staking votes and mm -hmm. it was not reflected in our communication. It was not reflected on our Twitter. Um, and I think that it was kind of a miss. So that was the first thing that, that we wanted to rebuild. Now, we, we also understand that um, it is not enough. So we also have a big place for the side chains, obviously, because it is the next, the next thing coming. However, we do believe that a lot of the things that DV built and the history of DV has to be highlighted, has to be present for people that... Um, are interested, who wants to look about the project. And, and this is why we really wanted to have a proper Twitter, um, proper YouTube and profiles everywhere that are up to date. And it, the last thing is obviously the website that uh, we don't have yet, but is the first, like the main point that everybody comes to when they are interested about a project. Even if they spend like five minutes or one minute on it, um, it, it is all about how it looks, how it captures the attention of the user. So we really want all those things, the differences with, uh, versus other blockchain, uh, the pride in our product, the history, and sure. everything to figure in, our, in the website. Yeah.